Good morning, Seba Prep School, and welcome to another Friday e assembly. Hello, Pip. Um, I hope you've had a great week. I heard lots of great things still from your teachers about your remote learning. Well done. Hope you're enjoying the chance to drop off the regular timetable today to celebrate VE Day, and that's the main theme of today's assembly. Before we get on to that, let's spend a little time recognizing May the 4th on Monday, Star Wars Day, as it's come to be known. Uh, those of you who live near Sebba, I hope that you survived the AT-AT attack as it came over the Howgills um, and that you've got a few stories to tell your grandchildren when you get older. My thanks to those of you who got into the spirit of things back home, uh, got dressed up and sent in your photos. I really enjoyed having a look through those as I got ready for my costume. Now, uh, i big, big Star Wars fan as a, as a child. Uh, so it's something that I really enjoy getting into. I uh, got up very early uh, to get ready for, for, for Monday. Uh, it, just a word of warning, if you're easily frightened, you might need to look away. Um, terrifying face. Actually, Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Newman might say that's a fairly terrifying face at 5.30 in the morning most days. Uh, let's not go down that route. Uh, but hopefully you'll enjoy this silly little video from the Newman household. Right, I think we're ready to roll. Tom, Tom, it's May the 4th, or should I say Obi-Wan? I'm 14, I don't need to dress up. Yeah, but I've got your costume ready for you. Dad, I don't want to do it. You should do what your Sith Lord commands you. It's Sith Lord. Okay, fine. Fine, fine. Pat! Pat! It's time to get up. I've, uh, or should I say, Ray, I've got your staff to, uh, to sand down and paint. What? It's 6 a.m.? Well, Darth Maul doesn't wear a watch. Well, Darth Maul doesn't care for time. What? D oh, okay, forget it, don't worry about it. Liz! Princess Leia, it's May the 4th. May the force be with you. Are you making tea? Milk, no sugar, please. Okay, fine, go. Princess Leia never gave Jabba the hump. Kind of grief. What? Nothing! Honestly, it doesn't seem like too much effort to me. Put on a pair of pyjamas, wear your dressing gown for the morning with a beard. Here, making the tea. Blue gunning horns to my head from five in the morning. Practicing using the force. The least they could do is get out of bed. Vader never had to put up with this. What? Nothing! Really? Let's move now to the main theme of today's assembly, which is responsibility. One of our core values, one of our ways of the wolf. Um, today, of course, is VE Day, Victory in Europe, 75 years ago today. And I want to thank Mr. Follett, Head of History at the Senior School, for sharing his two brilliant assemblies, both yesterday and today, with us, you and I, and with parents as well. And when I was thinking about what I might be able to add to Mr. Follett's assemblies, then my thoughts turned towards the parallels Inevitably, I've started to draw parallels between that period of our history and what we're going through now. now this is not wartime, but at times it can feel like a battle, certainly a fight against coronavirus. And I, I wouldn't begin to dream of comparing what you and I are doing with those brave men who went off to fight for king and country in World War II. Though, of course, last week we celebrated the efforts of our NHS staff 
and care workers and in many ways they have become our superheroes for this time. And you and I are a little like the home front. You know, our job is to keep calm and carry on. And for you in your home, your schooling environment now as well, of course, what does that mean? Well, as I say, I think it means taking responsibility. I think it means controlling the controllables. What can you do to help? What can you do to help mum and dad around the house? What can you do to show your appreciation of them? We spoke about this last week. What can you do to be kind to those around you? And what can you do to be responsible? So your responsibility, folks, I see it through this pandemic, is to get up every day and be positive. To be patient when things don't quite go to plan. To be flexible and adaptable. To look for the, the, the silver linings, as I've said before, that do surround this coronavirus cloud. To make sure that you are staying cheerful, and appreciative of everything that's around you. That's why I love to come here to, to this wood. Um, it's just the most gorgeous spot. And when you come here, it helps you to forget that actually the world is 99.9% .9 beautiful and brilliant. And I think it's really important that we remember that on a day-to-day -day basis. And that in many ways is my challenge to you. Um, responsibility, washing your hands, Maintaining your social distance, even though it's hard. You know, I, I understand that. Maintaining that stay at home mentality to save lives. And at times it's, you know, that's gonna get tough as the days and, and the weeks go by. I, I, we all understand that, but nothing great is easy. Captain Webb, you can look up who he was and, and do some research. Nothing great is easy. And at the end of all of this, just like on VE Day 75 years ago, we're all going to be back in school, we'll all be back with each other, and we're going to be able to look each other in the eye and say, we did all that we could. We did our bit. And I'd like to pass on to Mr. Gorse now, who's going to say a VE Day prayer for us. Thanks, Mr. Gorst. Thank you, Mr. Newman. So let us pray. Father, we have come together on this day to commemorate the 75th anniversary of victory in Europe when the sounds of war fell silent on this continent. We come together conscious of our need for your forgiveness, for the desire to dominate others that leads to conflict between people and war between nations. So as we, we remember the many soldiers, sailors and airmen who gave their lives, we also come in thanksgiving for the years of peace that the nations of Europe have enjoyed since the Second World War. We gather joyfully today, albeit remotely, as those who gathered on that first victory day, grateful for the laughter and love that follows times of sadness and loss. And through this period of lockdown, help us to draw together in spirit, even while we are apart. Help us to seek out the sad and the lonely, and to know that in all circumstances, however dark things may seem, we are loved. Thank you that your love has always been like this. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thanks as ever, Mr. Gorst. Well, that's it for another week. Have a great weekend, and I will see you this time next Friday, if not before, on a screen. Bye now. You know that face paint will never come off your collar. Your shirt's ruined. It's fine. It's fine.